in and buy space for the uh, Aphelios and the Jace, but when it actually comes to starting fights yourself, I mean, Ari's gonna dash away, sivir has got the spell shield, you don't really want to engage on Tornectin or the Trundle, so... So both junglers on opposite sides of the map. Humanoid possibility for a dive here. He's very low. Yankos has a lot of damage with the PTA. Ooh, stepping forward, flash available. Shot blast comes out, 100 HP, flash shot, but honestly, that was just too easy. Yes, they get the flash out of their middle lane at the cost of Yankos's. And now Razor can know and Trimby looking for an engage. Ursa is in trouble. We'll be able to dash away. Here comes BTO to boot. The flamethrower burning Mercer oh, down. Below 30 HP. Trimby gets killed. Team Heretic oh. secure a second. Secure a third. And it is a gigantic advantage before in the early game, generating the lead and then finding the wins. Has in the past had a positive, you know, K plus A. Has in the past had a positive Sweet. GT. This time, however, is being kind of run around the map by Yankos who secures another kill. 2 0 2. 100% kill participation. And is currently putting Team Heretics in a fantastic position. I'm Level dead. 6 for Flacken is on the hunt. Those boomerangs, they be bladed. And it's Mercer that secures the kill with that ignite. And Resort, I don't think, can do enough to really turn this one around. And they to try and come in. So Heretics do need to try and rush this down. You can already see the TP from Humanoid into the top lane. All right, moving his way forward. Oscar in and has got that Keeper's Verdict. Daisy stepping into the river. Ambi finds himself a Yordle to the face. He's held in place. The Dominus buys a few seconds, but it won't be enough as Yanko secures the Herald. Now they're oh, trying Mercer. to find the kills. Mercy with the great knockout followed up by the charm from BTO. Humanoid is slowly being burned down the backside, but Daisy buys so much time. I think that was a double knockout, allowing to at least get one back. BTO remains relatively untouched. Soska's trying to get the damage out, but it's an Ivern and a Poppy. It takes so much time. That Buckler doesn't have the damage, but the Root Caller will just oh, about help out. Mercer's buying time. Oscar's been burned down. He's not taken out yet. There's just not enough damage, and no matter how oh. he's to the days he is, they can't find the kills. If there's one more to be different. Here comes Abby, Ruthless Predator. One slice, the second dice, and his team Heretic stamping. Soul Point will be a little bit slower there. Yeah. Let's see the little setup. Moving in now with Daisy, just trying to force Heretics back and get control over this river. That'll allow you to get this poke down. Edge line, managing to connect. Dead charge, the Moonlight Vigil! And just as we are closing the coffin on Fnatic, they find themselves kills. Humanoid, where's the shock blast? Holding on to it for now. This will be dragon number two. This is a... Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's his Mercer. Just not Let's turn this one around. TP as well. Double TP behind. Gonna find the damage. One, two, teleports off to the second dragon. Mercer cannot fly away for his life. But here comes Yankos. Here comes Video. And he's gonna be a little late. The charm will prevent any of those shot blasts for now. And the tower is the focus. That should just about fall. Tower secured. Two teleports spent, but they find another couple kills. See if they can transition it into anything. 40 seconds on the Herald spawn. They're all on this top side, but they're probably gonna have to push him mid and take a base suit. Humanoid's pushing in. Oh, oh, turning their attention. Enjoy. That's pinned against the wall. Oscar and finds Yankos. Little Crab will be secured. They don't find the kill, but uh, it's a humanoid with his flash deficit. But Manic are reading the play. The revise comes out. The Frost charm. They've laid the CC beautifully for now. BTO is burned down significantly. Dragon is up in a minute, and Fnatic is there, so they don't want to walk up. Oscar's so W scared. is going to be so important here. The tower falls. Heretics trying to finish his BTO is now off the side. He swap places. Verdict gets rid of Yankos inside the pit. Fnatic brute force their way onto dragon number three. They need to spike this one down. BTO buys time. The dragon's still not secured. Envy goes over the wall. Finally, Fnatic do it. They find it. One, two, three kills. And they're not done yet. Fnatic absolutely running away with the fight. That's going to be Baron. Oscar had the team fight of the series so far. What an individual. Against the Baron and Pard minions, but the observers are doing a great job of highlighting the difficulties that Team Heretics are working with when the vision is denied and the members of Fnatic are inside the bushes. Last firing wave, they have to force, but Trippy's dead. I mean, so much damage in reply. Noah's Moonlight Vigil unable to find one back, and Trimby steps just a little too far forward. Orb goes out, Charm connects onto Humanoid, but there's not enough follow-up. Oscar completes the TP, so did Ebby. Kill secured, the tower still stands, which I think is crucial. The equals coming in, the purchase is coming through, and the TP's there, so... Here comes the fight. Video is very separated though. This is why Fnatic starting to step forward. See what they can do. That's the engage. Oscar throws down the keeper's verdict. Flack is able to flash away to keep himself alive. A slice, a dice, a Dominus keeps the croc on his feet. But here comes Daisy and the rest of Fnatic. That forces Evie to go golden. There's no Flack and available for a few more seconds. And Humanoid takes down the top laner for Heretics. Dredge line from Trimby. 
Should be given the Oscar. Should be taken, but here comes Noah! Man, the Gale falls forward, comboed with the flash! Backed up by Fnatic, and that is what we love to see from Fnatic's bot laner. Fnatic managed to get the fight they needed. They spot a video on the wave on the bottom side. And then the force players that we have in the league. And it was that Gale Force play that set it up again. Bottom tower, secure it. Bridge line will find Yankos, keeper's verdict. At least sends Yankos away for now. Barrows out of 2000, being focused up by Razork, secured by Fnatic. Emmy's GA is popped and he's caught between five members of Fnatic. And just to stay alive thanks to the core drinker, but it's simply not enough. Now, four members remaining. It's a Baron empowered minions. You have to feel Fnatic are going to look to open up the base. No, I still ask the blue guy. The pop up, the gold swing from down 5,000 to up 6,000. Fnatic have come back in dramatic fashion. Oscar Innan, one of the key players to do so. 11, and his team's 13, and Mercer is looking for the oh, Mercer. He's flashed forward, but the Moonlight Vigil from Noah's done so much damage, he's shut down. Flacken fires the boomerang blades. Oscar shuts down the Sivir, pushes back another. Evie and BTO versus Fnatic, but there's simply not enough left in the tank. One member remains versus three. That Jason Soul is tearing Heretics apart. Heal shields appeals are too much for Heretics, and Fnatic now will push in towards the Nexus. That is what we're going to call this comp. The heal shields and peels from Fnatic. Ladies, gentlemen, everybody else, we do indeed have a game on our hands. And Fnatic, even the series.